Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. We're gonna do something a little bit more application based and I mean social media Instagram stories. And this is a very specific concept because Instagram stories is becoming something that's very popular. A lot of big brands are using Instagram stories or doing custom designs and promoting products or engaging with their audience. And I've seen a lot of great Instagram stories where they're using motion graphics to put emphasis on what's important. And that's what I want to do in this video is how to set up an Instagram story. Perhaps some of the stuff in here is very easy to do, but putting together a nice well-rounded Instagram story and putting the focus on your titles and creating a call to action is very important. So, and that's what we'll be focused on in this video. And of course, if you want some more examples of this amazing work, or if you're in that time crush, go ahead and check out our links in the description. They'll bring you to this page, Video Hive, which has 89 Instagram story examples in which you can take a quick look at and see how awesome these can really be. So it's really up to you how you want to design them. But this one we're going to focus on just something laying it out and getting it correct. And you can check those links out in the video description. But let's get started. Go to Composition and click on New Composition. And we're going to want to use a width of 1080 and the height of 1920. So we're basically flipping 1920 by 1080 and making it 1080 by 1920. And we can call it Instagram. And any frame rate is fine and 10 seconds is good. And we'll click OK. And now we have this vertical composition. It's a little bit weird. But typically you want to bring in an image. If you're working with an image, if you don't, then you know it's really up to you if you need to create a solid. But I have this image of a camera right here. Let's say I just produced a camera video on YouTube and I want to send my followers to YouTube to watch this video. Well, that's what we're going to do and we need to create a nice title and a nice call to action. So let's start off the title, we grab our textile tool and we can type out our text. Perhaps this video was titled a starter guide. Perhaps here's our title and don't worry about it being so small like, like this because someone's going to be watching this on their phone and you got to keep that in mind and you go to the line tab, window, align. And we can make sure this is centered within our comp here. And there's that. And then maybe what we can do is type out another text in here, we'll call it maybe cameras, make sure that's lined up. And we will duplicate it again. Maybe it will just do like 4K versus 8K. I don't know, just something as a subtitle, perhaps. I'm just, I'm just kind of making this as I go. And the reason why I'm choosing this text is to make sure that we can make these titles stand out because right now they don't stand out or doing anything, especially against this background. There's not much that's going on here. So we're, that's what we're going to focus on this video is making your titles stand out within your Instagram story. And, and of course, this applies to any other concept as well. So let's go ahead and grab the rectangle tool, make sure no layer is selected. And I like to draw out a like a box here, you know, for our middle text. And I can put this layer underneath cameras and this will be a nice box. We can choose a theme. So maybe I like red. And I'll just select a nice red color in there and click OK. And we can just center this up as best we can. Beautiful. And also I like to go to the grab cameras, go to the tracking over here in our character window and just drag out the tracking. This way this will stand out a little bit more. And we now we have our main title here. We can bring that in just a little bit closer. And this I like to make a little bit smaller. So I'm using the typeface also. I'm also using typeface Beat Baz Nuu. And this works really well, this typeface. And I like to bring all these layers down a little bit because I want to take advantage of the lower third of this, you know, image. And this is looking pretty good. We can, of course, make the stand out even more. So what we can do is go to Layer, New, Null Object. And we can parent all of our shapes and our titles to the Null Object. And we can scale up the Null Object. And this will give us a little bit more control over the size of our title bring this up to about right here and of course you got to do the learn more box so you can gauge people to click on it if you're making a clickable story uh, so what you can do is just draw like say another box here make sure another layer is selected and this time what we'll do is we'll click on the word fill we'll set it to none click on the word stroke and we'll set it to fill or solid color excuse me and you can increase the pixel count I'm up to nine and we can center this up and we can put in here uh, watch here so we know people can you know, swipe up or uh, they can learn more about something if they click on your profile. It's just a nice call to action. And you know now you have your title in there. So now this is our bare minimum of making this work, but I really want to make this pop even more because we don't really have an amazing image. And you know I really want to make sure this stands out the best as we can. And you might not have the best images to work with. So what we can do is maybe grab the rectangle tool again. I'll change this color to white. I mean, we will see what we'll want in a second. And I'll just draw out, draw out a nice bounding box around this. And you know, it just adds a little bit more design to it. And we can make sure this is centered up within our composition. And I think that looks nice. And then I want to just grab the 
and you know another rectangle here and this time we'll just turn off the stroke and we'll turn the fill up back on and we'll maybe we'll set this to black click OK and here maybe I'll just draw out a black rectangle like this we'll put this underneath everything we'll hit T on our keyboard for opacity and we can lower the opacity to about 50 to 60 percent and this will help make things stand out a little bit more I'll probably move this up and that text is really standing out and there's a lot of emphasis on our title and such and of course there's nothing here at the top this is where I would probably go as far to put a logo or something else I mean there's just not much balance in this image so we come here and type out you know our channel and what I would do here is maybe just draw out a box going across like so and put this underneath Sunduck Film just helps us stand out a little bit more and lower the opacity on this box to be about the same opacity as this one and this will make our title stand out even more. And I would make sure that the layer is underneath the white solid, of course. And if we're having any issues blending this together, we can always lower, lower the opacity on the main image. Okay, so now that we have our layout in here, and perhaps we're happy with this, perhaps we're not, but I want to really move on to the animation and add in some extra design elements. So maybe we can add an actual like branding element. So perhaps you know we want to add just a little bit of shape animation in here. What we can do is like draw out a bunch of you know, rectangles like this and I'm going to animate these and we'll keep them generally like you know red I think that's totally fine and what I'm going to do here is just specifically just animate them and just draw out some random rectangles and we're going to create a cool animation here and before I do that go to effect perspective drop shadow and I'm going to increase the opacity to 100% and I'm going to bring the distance down to zero and increase the softness so these will kind of pop out and I want to make sure that these are going to animate from left to right constantly. So what I'm going to do is click on contents, go to add, and add a group. And I'm going to add all these rectangles to this group just by cl drag by clicking all of them and drop them into the group. Now I'm going to take transform group one, add a keyframe for position. I can move forward here, so maybe it'll go by to like you know two seconds or so, and I'll just have these move over like this. Okay, so now they're going off the screen, but I want them to constantly be on the screen. So what I can do is cl click on contents, go to add, and go to repeater. Now, we open repeater 1, we go to transform repeater 1, we go to the X position, and we can just move these over. And we can, of course, you know, maybe manipulate the Y position by a little bit. So now, we just need to make sure that we move the last keyframe over to like say five seconds is our story or something and we can continue to animate these over so now we have this constant animation of these lines going by and really drawing attention to our main title uh, even though maybe it's a little bit messy depending on you know these rectangles are on top of our text but I think it's you know fairly reasonable thing to do alright so basically now we need to animate the text and we need to make it stand out a little bit because a story you know just a picture story is not enough we need to add some more movement we're animators and that's what we have to do. So what I would do is go to the first keyframe here, the first frame, and I go to our first title or starter guide. I'll go to animate, and I want to add the rotation, and then I'll go to select animator one and go ahead and add opacity. So here we can rotate the text a little bit and definitely lower the opacity to zero percent. We'll come here to the range selector, add a keyframe for start percentage, and we'll move forward here and we'll set it down to one hundred percent. So now it'll come in like this as this nice rotation just like so and that's totally cool we can make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9 on our keyboard and we added individual animation there and now we have like our main title cameras which is really what's important because you know that's probably the primary topic of the video that I'm making up <laughs> and we'll grab that solid and we'll grab these two layers that are doing this the background there and I want to hit P on my keyboard for position and I'm going to animate the shape layer to come over so we have our first title come in we'll move this keyframe forward and we'll have it come off on the left side here just like this we'll make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9 on our keyboard and then I'm going to duplicate this layer put it on top of our text uh, layer to cameras toggle switch the modes and I'm going to set the track mat to alpha mat and this will just animate on as that comes on and we have some emphasis and I'm actually going to lower the opacity of the shape layer by a little bit. There's plenty of ways to animate text but I'm quickly going to show you Animation Composer which I'll link in the video description. There's, there's this plugin that's about $50 for After Effects that allows you to apply uh, 
preset text transitions within a couple of seconds. So right here I have this text pack and I can animate characters and I can find something that I really like. So perhaps I like something like fade in position and I have over a thousand presets in this one pack and I can find something that I like. So perhaps this is fine. Uh, there's pretty much a lot to work with. I can click on it, just apply it as in and essentially you can see that it basically animates over text and we apply this preset within a couple of seconds and I can easily apply it to rest of my titles. So for the watch here, I would typically do something with a scale. I probably would scale that in with the title, but I can come here with scale, come here to basic and find something in a couple of seconds here. So maybe, you know, that's totally fine. I can apply that as in and it automatically applies it and you can see Boom, and then of course, if I do want to move this layer over, I can easily do that. It comes on a little bit later. So I have full control over this. I have a full review on it. And of course, if you want to learn more about Animation Composer, you can check the link in the description. But there's plenty of ways to animate, and this is a cool way to do it. Now about this box. Now how I would animate this box is I would probably go to Shape Layer, go to Add, and I would add a Trim Paths for it. And I would come into Trim Paths, add a keyframe for Start Percentage, set it to 100%, move forward, set it down to 0%. I'm going to move these keyframes back. Make, the last, make both keyframes an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9. And that's looking good. And I would probably take some of these. I would take this element over here, hit P on keyboard for position, and add a keyframe there. And I would probably actually animate this up a little bit just to add a little bit more movement to it. So for my background image, if I'm using image or even video, I would add a keyframe for position and scale at least some of the time. And I would do kind of a Ken Burns effect. So I would move this over, maybe even scale inward. So this adds us a little bit more emphasis on our image here. Then I would go and add another null object by going up to layer, new null object. And I would parent everything except for the background to the null object. And of course, everything that we already have parented. So I don't have to take the text that I parented to that one null object. So I'll just deselect them and parent them to the null object. And I would hit S and P on my keyboard for scale and position. And we'll move forward here at those keyframes. And I would have these kind of scale towards us by a little bit, not much, like maybe 102%. And I would actually probably not scale the border. So this creates just a little bit of a parallax and more engagement on our title. And I would practically call this a day here. I make sure to turn on motion blur for all my layers, turn on the top, and we can do a quick RAM preview and see what we have. And after a quick render, here's what we have. We have our title and emphasis on our, those titles, and we've created our story. Of course, you can add a little bit more animation to everything if you really want to, uh, but this preference was to just put emphasis on the titles for creating Instagram stories. And you see that this is very easy to do because we were able to do it less than, I think, 10 minutes, 15 minutes uh, on this video. So, but you can create an efficient way to engage your audience on Instagram with motion graphics on your latest video or whatever you're looking to do. So I hope you guys were able to take away several takings from this video. Remember, you can check out Animation Composer, links in the video description, or if you need those examples, like I showed in the beginning of the video, go ahead and check out links in the video description. So I hope you did enjoy this video. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like because it helps me out tremendously. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sunduck Film, for more After Effects tutorials just like this. And make sure to hit that bell icon to turn on notifications. And hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always be creating.